Welcome to today's vlog. <laughs> We're at Banana Republic shopping. I just said, do you want to start off today's vlog? Say welcome to today's vlog. And that's exactly what you said. We, well, I was about to say we're on the Cape. This is going to be my Cape vlog, everybody. Because we are on the Cape, but we're actually in Providence right now. At the mall. This lighting isn't good. Here we go. Um, we're at the mall in Providence because we just dropped off Chase. She's going back to New York. And we're just going to shop around. I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along. I haven't actually been vlogged in like several days, so I miss it. And I'm just going to shop. Maybe get back in time for that to learn. Yeah. Get food around here. Later. I think we'll, yeah. We'll it's get like us after back. lunch now, but we haven't eaten lunch, so we're hungry. And yeah. Let's see where we. End up in here. There's some good stores in this mall. Yeah, I feel like shopping. You're okay. in the mood? Yeah. Oh. We're gonna spend some dough. <laughs> what food do you think we need? I don't know. Maybe. Is there food in the mall? Yeah, there is. I don't know if it's good food though. Mm. It might just be normal food court food. Oh, but. you guys, Plant City the other day. So good. I feel like I didn't talk about it enough because I only vlogged at the end after. Yeah. We ate there, but when Max was playing in Providence, you saw me, Taylor, Arlen, and Max went to Plant City. It was so good. This way. Okay. There's so many levels of this. Is there four levels? I'm so <laughs> Why are you like this? Guys, comment what movie this is from. And if you don't know, you're really fake because everybody knows. <laughs> Pulled a hamstring. Guys, look at how many levels there are. That was really funny of you. Coming on down. <laughs> I feel like I haven't been in a mall in so long. I'm so amazed. Oh, I love Lush. We'll go in there. Oh, I see your favorite store. Starbucks. <laughs> yep, Starbucks. We're in Free People, everybody. We wish they had the Free People movement. Like leggings and sports bra stuff. Remind me to show them later. The, well, I could show you the top right now. It's under the sweater. Um, I got this green set. Oh, they saw on my work day in my life video because I got the top and the leggings. And I was so nervous because they looked so small. But I finally tried them on and I love them. They're the best ever, right? Mm -hmm. Aren't they cute? They are. And I feel like I need every single color because they come looking really small. And I would say typically yeah, they, they look really small, but they're so stretchy. I would say typically I'm a small, and I got an extra small small, and so I was like, oh, I should have got the medium large. But the extra small small is good, and yeah, I gotta show you guys. I was just about to show you my top, but I'll just I'll wait. We'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait so I don't have to lift up my sweater. And the leggings, oh, they're just so good because I've seen so many people wearing them. They didn't have them in that store, but where to now? Up, up again? Yeah. Um. But yeah, those are about to be my new okay. favorite workout sets. We haven't eaten since breakfast. Oh yeah. But we have big breakfast. Yeah, we might match. Okay guys, the van store is right up here. When and the other day, match, I know, if you get the same one as me, this will be the first time you're copying me. No, because, I wanted them too. No, I wanted them first. Okay. We were shopping on Maybe there, I'll get something else and I found these vans that I like. Oh yeah, not too. I haven't seen them um, before. Oh, they have vans too. Yeah, and Max we'll is gonna copy me because Maybe I'll get he wants to ruin. Oh, maybe you'll get these rainbow ones. Whoa, I haven't seen those before. I think these are the ones I want, everybody. They have a little platform, just plain white. Because I had white, what were those ones I had? Supergas. And they were really gross and they had to go. They were so dirty. So these are this type. In case you were wondering, old school platform, baby. Cute. Yeah. Max thought that you could film vertical on this thing. Are you using your teeth? To Babe, that's gross. <laughs> I really like them though. I'm about it. I had to steal Max's sock to try it on, so normally I wouldn't wear high socks, but there we go. Max's new white sneakers versus his old white sneakers. That's so bad. Look at how bad his Converse were. <laughs> when Max thinks he's an extra large. But it is. <laughs> this is so big on you. That's like an XL on me. <laughs> These look so good. I love Chrissy Brussels sprouts. We are at Red Stripe you right now, you guys. Got me into Brussels sprouts. I taught you the way. Crispy oh, Brussels sprouts are so good. I don't think I've had them with cheese. It's usually like maple or something. 
and then Max loves buffalo cauliflower. I'm gonna have to pick around the blue cheese because I really hate blue cheese, but. <laughs> yeah. And I just got salmon. Max got steak. This is his old stomping ground. Do you come here a lot of ground? Like once in a while? Special occasions. Yeah. It's so cute here. It's called Red Stripe. Everyone come. We're like in the back little dining area, but it's like big up there, so. I'm really hoping I'm not getting copyrighted with all this music. Guys, maple glazed salmon is always so good. Look at this with potatoes and carrots. Max got steak frites. Look at all the, those fries are enough for like a family of four. <laughs> this looks so good. Dinner was so good, you guys. Oh, it's like a street light. It's kind of dark right now. But all I wanted to say, oh, I forgot we could turn this on quickly. Mm -hmm. All I wanted to say is, it's kind of true that made me sad realizing that we were leaving the restaurant and I was looking at comments in my new, or no, not my most recent YouTube video because I just posted one, but the one before. Sorry, I've been in my mouth. It's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but Max was like, I don't like when you read comments. And I was like, why? And he was like, because they make you sad. And I was like, wait, that's kind of true. I mean, it depends. So stop being mean, everybody. <laughs> but... Um, or I think if anything I get frustrated and most recently everyone probably knows I'm talking about the puppy situation because I know Adopting and rescuing is the right thing, but know that I was on my laptop all day today researching You can vouch for me. I was on my computer all day like looking for golden retriever puppies And I literally could not find any golden retriever puppies on adoption or rescue websites And I did in the past but those ones are obviously already adopted and gone so it's so hard and you guys are really helpful and I've been looking at some of my DMs where people are sending me um, websites where you can rescue or adopt and it's like really helpful and I really like it so thank you for doing that but I'm looking through them and it's like on the home page it's like minimum age to fill out application 26 years old and I'm like okay this disqualifies me immediately you know what I mean so I don't know I'm just frustrated over here and yeah I mean all we really have been finding is like ethical breeders which on one video everyone was commenting telling me that that was okay they're like oh makes perfect sense you can't adopt or rescue like you're not eligible you're too young you live in this apartment building just get one from an ethical breeder and i was like okay cool and then i said that in another video and everyone was like no you really should adopt so i'm just feeling like i don't know what to do and just frustrated and i know it's better but like i was just telling max if i know i want to go there and retrieve a puppy and i can't find one and to adopt or rescue like, what am I supposed to do? Because that's the kind of dog I want. You know? Thoughts? Uh, we're going to end up doing what we want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Max is like, I feel like doesn't see the big deal with it, but I don't know. Because I know, and I know, I hear, I hear all of you, and I hear all your arguments of why rescuing and adoption is important, and I agree with that, but... See where I'm coming from over here, okay? Ah, back to the Cape. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I just we just did that chat quick. We're gonna go home, and I'm gonna show you guys my phone case because you saw I've been getting literally my most DM'd thing now aside from the puppy is this phone case, you guys. Because you know I've been using case to buy cases for a while, and this one came my way. Why does this keep? lighting up <laughs> and I couldn't find it on their website but it's one of the ones you can personalize so I'm gonna show you all right fail it's the next morning I told you guys I was gonna talk to you about my phone case last night but if I'm being honest right as we got back the bachelor was on and we had to watch the bachelor so I figured I could just show you right now because like I said I've gotten a million questions about this phone case so I literally pulled it up right here so I could show you the exact one I used max as an example <laughs> This is the case to buy iPhone 11 Pro case, just because that's the one I have. But it's, oh, sorry, that's the dryer. <laughs> it's the Monogram Studio. And then in this version of the Monogram, you can just have it repeating. You can pick the color of the iPhone case itself, the color of the text, like that. And then, yeah, you can click on repeat like that. So that's definitely the best part of the case to buy cases is that they are customizable You can change the colors like you can change where on the phone your name is or whatever it is If you guys have seen most of my case to buy cases I'll insert some footage here of the ones I have in the past because I don't have them with me right now But 
Um, honestly, most of mine are the impact cases, which are the best ones because they have like military grade drop protection. You guys know I can't really do the drop test for you like I've seen so many other people do because the back of my phone is actually already shattered. So can't do that for you. Um, but I actually watched Aspen and Parker's vlog. Did I make you watch that one with me, Max? when they dropped their phone and it was so stressful. They like dropped it over the staircase and they were so worried and their phone was totally fine. So it's just really awesome how protective they are, but also how stylish and cute and like customizable they are because yeah, it's just like the best of both worlds that you can make them really cute and customizable. This one isn't the impact one. Um, like I told you, it's just like the monogram one. You can pick whatever size your phone is. And I love that they got, side note, that they got cases for the new iPhone so quick because I feel like some places were kind of behind on that. So this one's so cute. And yeah, sorry, I didn't know like exactly what one it was for so long, but now I hope it answers your question and you guys can twin with me and get the same one. If you guys go to casetify.com slash Gretchen, you will get 20% off of your Casetify order. You can get one case, you can get 10 cases like me if you're crazy and you want lots of options. You guys know I have so many that are customized. I have like black ones, I have a bunch of clear ones, I have a bunch of different ones that are just like designs that they already have on their website. I have ones that I've customized myself. Definitely the impact ones, like I said before, are the best ones because they are just so protective but they're also not gonna make your phone like a big ugly brick like they're still really thin and sleek um, but there's just so many options on there and yeah again you guys can go to casefy.com slash Gretchen to get 20% off I would so recommend they're my favorite phone cases and if you ever see a phone case on my phone and you don't know where it's from it's from casefy so I'll have it linked down below and now we are gonna go to Nirvana and we're gonna walk it's like so close to Max's house, you guys, and we always drive, so we're gonna go on a morning walk. You guys, I just realized, because remember I was talking about it at the mall? I wanted to show them my, my set, remember? And I never showed them. This is it, from Free People. The little top, I literally want every color. It's so cute, and the little leggings. And don't worry, like I said, they look really small when you are holding them up but they're really really stretchy so are you ready for your coffee you guys i'm so surprised max has been so patient usually he's a very patient person i'm not surprised because you're just patient in general but when it comes to coffee you're not so patient yeah <laughs> ready yeah hi new vans hi nothing like a fresh pair of white sneakers mm -hmm. oh i wish i was wearing mine we can match and yeah, my new joggers oh that she's got that you in January. I think I told them, or did I not tell them? I don't know. We were doing Christmas in January because you guys know I got called up. Did I say it in this vlog? I don't think so. I think I said I it before remember. though. But um so then all of his family's Christmas presents, they never got to get them because we weren't here. And we are so excited to give them <laughs> to them finally on this break. But all of our chan chan plans changed. <laughs> I forgot to say the word plans. I was trying to say change and I knew it said the word. All of our plans change and long story short, Max's car isn't here with all the presents. And so Christmas in January didn't happen and it's about to be Christmas in June. Well, it happened June. for me, but not the rest Oh yeah, of so they got to give our presents, yeah. they got to give their presents to us, but then our presents for them yeah. are still not here. <laughs> when are they realistically gonna get them? Uh, April? Uh, I think I'll mail them. Oh, yeah. That's so sad. We really wanted to give them to them in person, but yeah, now they're gonna get them by next Christmas at this rate. So, yeah. anyway, <laughs> guys, this is so cute. I don't think we ever showed this in a vlog before, but in Barnstable, on the brick, what is this called? Sidewalk. Ground sidewalk. People engrave stuff. This is the Wilmot family. That's you, yeah. <laughs> guys. If you come here and get a sweatshirt, they're so cozy. And I didn't know they had hats. Like, do I need one? They have shirts. Ooh, yeah. We love it here. And if you come here, you must. <gasps> We're really getting two. We're getting two donuts. Normally we share one, but Max said he couldn't share today. <laughs> Their donuts are really, really good, you guys. <laughs> Add cinnamon. Number one rule, everybody. <laughs> Mama and baby. Can they tell the difference? Yeah. Max's versus mine. <laughs> Where's your donut? Can I have some? <laughs> so this terrible thing happens when I wait too long to eat my donut. Somebody wants some of mine even though they already ate theirs. <laughs> I can't feel my 
fingers. <laughs> oh my gosh, my phone says it's 38, but it feels like 32, which I'm feeling like a big baby, because I know it gets way colder than that, but boy, am I cold. Also, have you guys noticed, I have this big pimple on my cheek. Like, how rude, she wasn't invited, but there she is. Dog. What kind of dog? dog? Oh, Love chocolate. That. Um, you always say that you can't even see it. See what? You're such a liar. It's right there. I don't see anything. <laughs> wow, that was really brave of us taking photos out there in the freezing cold. Mm -hmm. But um, now I'm in outfit number two, which, if you recall, it's the outfit I wore yesterday. But like I said, we were just having family time with his family and hanging out. So we didn't really get any photos. So Max is being very generous today and letting me take photos. So I might get one in this outfit. Since I thought it was really cute yesterday, I wanted to pick it up, but I didn't get it. So I'm gonna do that. And none of you guys are gonna know that they were on the same day. Unless you watch this vlog, then you'll, you'll know. Also, I just posted a picture. One of those ones we just took on Instagram. I feel like you can see the big pimple on my face, but whatever big pimpy we're <laughs> we're just being real oh i'm so excited i'm so hungry starving we're, we're at, at barnstable market where barnstable market yeah barnstable market i'm so excited we got a bottle yeah. of wine <laughs> why i don't know i've Day? been in the wine lately oh like peeing on the wine i knew you're gonna say that Max likes Pinot Noir. I do. I said Noir. Well, I haven't Noir. really tried any other wines, but when we went out to dinner the other night, the mm -hmm. uh, you like red waiter, better. I like white better. Uh, recommended it. And I, I like red. Comment down below. Only if you're 21 and above. We're old. Comment down below your favorite kind of wine. Cause I like white. I don't like too dry, but I don't like too sweet. I like like a good Sauvignon Blanc. That's very like chill, light. We both like light. We don't like anything too crazy, I feel like. Pinot Noir is like chill feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on your favorite one. Oh, <laughs> we love Four Seasons. I wish they were open right now. But this is the next best thing. I think we need PB Chip Chalk. And I think that's what we need. It's so cute in here, you guys. I love little, little Barnstable Market. And then this is where you order your subs and wraps. Did you tell them what flavor we went with? Can you guys read that? No, you can't. Chaga chip cookie dough, baby. Got some pics in my cute outfit. Oh, my chicken Caesar wrap is falling apart, but just wanted to tell you guys. It's fire. It's really good. Thank you for being Instagram boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Instagram boyfriend. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, we just filmed a really fun video that, I don't know, it might be up before this or after, whatever. I tried to decode Max's hockey slang. I think I did a pretty good job and I wanted to show you. <laughs> Whoa, it feels so good. It feels like weird but good. Max just found this head. <laughs> Your hair. Mm -hmm. What's it called? Head scratcher? Head massager. Head massager. Your hair looks so funny. And um, yeah, I just think that's funny. You can hear the train. Train's coming. But um, oh, the train is like right there. <laughs> look. Whoa. Show them. Guys, look at it. The train oh, going Oh, trash by. train. What do you mean? Oh, trash. that's, is that how trash leaves Cape Cod? Oh. It's already gone. Quick one. Whoa. Um, oh, wrong <laughs> way. All that's really left of us on the Cape is that us what I'm like struggling with words. Us watching the internship right now, which I haven't seen this movie before. I've never been on live television before. And um, it always used to make you laugh. I think you're too used to it now. Because I always say it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think of a new funny line. How about that? <laughs> um, oh yeah, but that's all that's really left. We're gonna watch this movie. It's gonna be boring. I don't know. It's gonna be boring? No, it's no, not. No, the movie's not gonna be boring. I mean, it's gonna be boring for me movie. to film, to like show them. The Intern, it's a classic. Like I hope. Bobby De Niro. Yeah, I don't think. 
<laughs> you look so offended. I don't mean the movies get me oh, okay. I haven't seen it before. But I, um, yeah, I didn't really vlog like I told you guys in the beginning of the cave because I was just okay, really relaxing, bad. hanging out with Max and his family. Your hair looks fantabulous. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, even though it was really us just chilling, goofing. I hope it was a fun little Cape vlog. Cape Cod's fun, like funner in the summer, but still fun. Not in the summer. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.